All right, what's up, guys? It's Terrell back with another Cardinals prediction video. As we get closer to wrapping up my predictions for the 2022 NFL season for the Cardinals, this is the Week 16 matchup I'll be talking about. We're at State Farm Stadium this for that week against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Christmas Day. Now, I have the Cardinals entering this game at 9-5, and five, coming off a downfall loss against Denver. I have the Buccaneers coming into this game at 12 and 3, or excuse me, 11 and 3. Now, if you guys watched one of my uh, my division and prediction videos on um, playoff seed prediction, I had the Bucks going 14 and 3, so around this point I'd have them winning out the rest of their games. Now, coming into this game, it's normally I'm just going to start by saying, and normally when we play on primetime it doesn't really end well. Um Normally, Kyler Murray would either be dealing with an injury, our O-line would be injured, Kyler Murray would just throw stupid interceptions, or we would have bad play calling, or just any stupid game-changing mistake like that. Now, obviously, we don't know what the injuries will be like at this point just yet, but if I had to make a guess, we'll at least have one significant injury, just because normally, past midseason, that's just normally what we deal with. Now, coming into this game... Tampa Bay, as far as their offense goes, obviously currently right now they're dealing with some injuries on their offensive line. Leonard Fournette, uh, he put up some weight for training camp. We'll see what goes with that situation. If I had to make a guess, I'd probably assume Leonard Fournette will probably get back in game shape uh, by this week at least. But we'll see how it goes. They were able to get Julio Jones. One of those three receivers will have a big game on us, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Julio, any of those guys. They also got Kyle Rudolph, who's a really good blocker as well, uh, which would probably free up some space for the running backs as well. Uh, obviously, they he was in replacement for Gronkowski, who retired. And with Tom Brady throwing the ball, there's at least one receiver that's going to have 100 yards, maybe even two, uh, especially with our secondary. We're not probably not going to be able to match up with those receivers that well. And uh, just... The Buccaneers' offense is why I have us losing. It's just too much for us. Um, now, as far as our uh, offense goes, the thing that concerns me, I think we'll put up 26 points. That's my prediction. Um, I don't think it'll be that bad of a game for us, but like I said, we don't really know how bad our team may be banged up, how bad our chemistry may be by this week, because normally it doesn't really end that well. Um, now... Normally around this point, Kyler Murray would kind of fall off the MVP conversation. He would do dumb shit. He would throw interceptions that would cost the game away. He would just do stupid stuff, um, make terrible decisions. Now, I think our receivers will have a good game. Uh, now, as far as James Conner goes, I think he'll have a really good game too. The question is, the thing that why I have us losing is that I feel like the Buccaneers defense is going to put too much pressure on Kyler. That's another main reason why I have us losing this game 34 to 26 and I have the Cardinals falling to nine and six with their next two games being against Atlanta and San Francisco so let me know what you guys think about this game do you think we'll pull the upset on Christmas Day do you think Tampa Bay will come out and demolish us uh do you think it'll be a close game let me know what you guys think but anyway guys that's all I got see you in the next one peace out